Well, our cooling tower energy recovery idea all started with my old manager. He sent us a sketch that was a way to capture energy from our uh, cooling tower water system. We recognized early on that this water is basically falling from the roof 35 feet above down into a sump. There's a lot of energy in that water. And if you could capture that with a turbine, you could really save a lot of energy. At Honda, any kind of waste is, is looked upon as bad, and we look for ways to eliminate waste, reduce waste in, in all of our processes. So this energy recovery idea, basically it works a lot like a water wheel, where you have this picture of a stream passing by an old cottage with a water wheel by its side. The water wheel turns and that's the capturing of the energy. We had to figure out what's the best way to use the energy that that turbine was putting out. What we ended up with was a very simple AC motor used as an alternator. We built a very simple control system. We put it online and it's worked like a champ ever since then. It generates about five and a half kilowatts of electricity. It works out to about 50,000 kilowatt hours per year, which offsets the CO2 that would be generated by the power plant by about 35,000 kilograms per year of CO2, or 77,000 pounds. One of the really neat parts of this job had to do with how everybody came together to get involved. They all had the freedom to explore their particular area that they were studying and take it as far as they needed to. While this particular idea may not be that impressive in its individual contribution. Like a single drop of water, it's not that impressive, but the whole ocean is made out of single drops of water added together. And with the diffusion of this theme across our company, we hope the impact will be very significant. I'm Dirk Norberg, and I look for ways to improve Honda's environmental efficiency.